Greetings all, it's Gerald Clark with you today on behalf of 7th Planet Broadcasting. And I'm pretty excited to have just released the Odyssey Key screenplay, which I've published on Amazon as a paperback book. It's 151 pages long, and uh, it has, uh, it's fully color, uh, 8.5 by 11. And the PDF is formatted 8.5 by 11 as well, that's digital and is available off of Gerald Clark 77 store, okay? So today I just wanted to uh, do a quick walkthrough and give you an indication of what it looks like from a navigation standpoint. The screenplay is broken up into three acts, very traditional. The first act has, is approximately 30 minutes. The second act is approximately 60 minutes. And then the third act is 30 minutes. So it follows the Hollywood template for the uh, pr pretty standard way to tell a story. Um, in addition, what I've done is I've used some CGI animation to bring some of the screenplay to life conceptually. And I used iClone and HitFilm primarily to do that. And so in the screenplay, I've annotated it with both pictures uh, for the published version. And the digital version has the advantage in that it not only has the pictures, but several of the pictures are links to YouTube videos that are published on the Odyssey Key YouTube playlist on my, on my YouTube channel, Gerald Clark. So with that said, I'm going to do a quick walkthrough with you uh, of the screenplay, give you a kind of an idea of the way it's laid out. And hopefully those of you uh, that are inclined will purchase one and participate with me in bringing this epic story of us to life. Odyssey Key. Thanks. I want to open the digital version and give you a, a little idea how to set it up so that you can view it optimally. So the first thing you want to do is go under View, Page Display, and I really like the two-page view. Some people like two-page scrolling. I, I like it moving like a book, so that's what that does, okay? So, uh, and if you cr scroll down, you can see with the mouse scroll, that's what it does, two pages at a time. Okay, and then the second thing I like to do is view the um, navigation pane. So, let's see, let's show hide the navigation pane. Okay, oh, let's, uh, let's do the... Um, Oh, let's let's see. What do we have to do? Page navigation here. Let's do um, show hide um, page thumbnails. That's it. Okay. So once you have this up, um, you can change the size of the thumbnails. You can make them bigger or you can make them smaller. Um, and the other advantage of having this open is um, when you go to the two-page view, that stays and you can see it moves with you. And the other thing you can do is if you're more text oriented, you can bring up the window here, zoom it just a little bit bigger, about right there or so, where you don't get too much wrap. And then you can actually go scene by scene, okay, like that. <clears throat> and as you can see, as I'm scrolling through here, um, some of the scenes 
actually have uh, so you see the act and the scene number here but some of the scenes have a link with them that's a hyperlink and you can see if you hold it over there you get a YouTube link that goes to the Odyssey key playlist uh, on you on my YouTube channel okay so if you click one of those uh, it'll actually open another window okay so let's go to a little bit farther um, let's just start first of all and look at the acts so you got act one through um, act one scene 11 so there's 11 scenes in the first one and then you go to act two and we've got I think it's about 20 scenes there's act two scene 20 and then act three um, only has three acts but they're somewhat longer <clears throat> okay so that gives you an idea of what that's like so if we were to just scroll through the document this way we can actually reduce this now so we don't have to see it <clears throat> or you can bring it back whichever way you want so and you can do that under the view view tools okay um, so just scrolling through very quickly it's a hundred and fifty one pages and um, uh, it a lot of the pages were added because of all the pictures so the full color um, paperback version uh, <clears throat> is it looks exactly like this eight and a half by eleven so you get all of this of course you won't be able to click links in it like you do in this one but uh, so for here for instance we could click on this one and watch this uh, music video this is Princess Belota featured by Richie Barron and also Richie Barron did the Anunnaki came for gold song which I used in the intro trailer to this video um, this is a really great one, Alien Zone Recon. So you can go through and kind of get a, a, a context of what was conceptually implemented versus uh, the actual screenplay, how it'll be finalized. Okay, so, <clears throat> and we go on. And I'll just tell you real quickly, uh, basically the story starts 450,000 years ago on Nibiru involving the Urabani, which uh, many people will recognize as possibly the Anunnaki, um, came here to get resources, one of those which was gold, and uh, that uh, is why Richie Barron wrote the song Anunnaki Came for Gold. Uh, there were several main players that were featured on the Sumer documents in the Anunnaki Council that do appear in the screenplay. Uh, as far as um, the story is told, even though the names were changed, uh, many of the locations are accurate and the chronology follows what we believe to be an accurate timeline from the prehistory on Nibiru all the way down through the birth of the first Adapa, which uh, some people will call the Adam. Okay, so uh, that's where the first um, screenplay ends, but uh, I had envisioned three parts, so this is just part one. Okay, uh, there's Belota, the Anunnaki Council. Uh, this is the Eker Fortress, uh, very famous in the Atrahasis documents describing uh, Enlil's fortress there. And you can look this up uh, online. <clears throat> um, with some of the Anunnaki technology, a little bit of Garden Eden toward the end. I found this fascinating that this technology still exists today, that a reed hut could actually look like this. And if you've investigated the uh, I guess they call them the uh, uh, Reed Hut people of Iraq. Or they have a particular name, but uh, it's quite fascinating for anybody who's interested in that in that uh, old history. Um, Enki and Enlil, who I call Hothsai and Yakti. So there's Yakti. Uh, this is a conceptual drawing that uh, Pat Broderick uh, from DC and Marvel Comics, operating on his own now. Uh, doing an Anunnaki comic book series uh, worked with me to con conceptualize what these characters might look like so these were just concepts and of course the avatars I implemented weren't exactly like that but uh, we'll go back to one or two of the so here was uh, one of the avatars on a horse <laughs> so um, anyway uh, so hopefully that'll give you an idea of what the screenplay looks like this has been Gerald Clark with Seven Planet Broadcasting Odyssey Key uh, get a copy today and support the movement. Thank you so much.